y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean on a saturday well it ain't morning right now technically i'm recording this video a little bit late but it's on a saturday and i gotta talk about something that's messing up you guys campaigns or um it's just preventing you guys to, from finding success in campaigns but really quickly if you got access to my live branding session you have that free access i emailed you about it Please check your email. Y'all don't be checking your emails. Please check your email. I emailed you about this. And anybody else who didn't get the Pro Music Branding Package or any of those things, just know that the price is the same. No worries. But on February 17th, the price will be going up. Keep that in mind. Link to all that stuff in the description below. But other than that, let's move on. This thing that's ruining what you guys get out of your campaigns. Simply the expectation of what you will get for a certain amount of money with no real experience or data. So what do I mean by this? Someone might be like, hey, yo, I want to spend seven hundred dollars. You know, I'm hoping I'm going to get like, you know, one hundred thousand views on this YouTube video, one hundred thousand views on this post, two hundred thousand views, whatever the random number is. Right. It doesn't usually work like that. It just doesn't understand that we'll use a Facebook campaign because I, I'm going to apply this to every single scenario. But let's let's start with a Facebook campaign, right? You have to run a Facebook campaign to start to get results from your uh, Facebook campaign just for you to learn how to best target, right? So you need to understand what's the best audience for you to reach out to. And, you can, and once you do that, you can always make it even... Um, even less expensive by you learning more and more things, you need to be able to figure out what's the best ad content. So should I do a 10 second video? Should I do a full snippet? Should I just play the whole song out? There's all these different nuances and things, right? You need this data and be able to see the results and how much money you got for, for those results. And I mean, how much money you spent for those results. And once you understand I got these results for spending this much money. Now you can start making some projections, but you can't project off of nothing. You can't just say I'm going into this campaign. I've never spent a dime on it, but I want to get 100,000 views for this amount of money. It doesn't work like that because you don't have any. You can't make a projection off of zero. And this is all unique to you. It's not going to be the same for everybody else. Some person will get a. Um, have a 12 cent ad some person will have an 8 cent ad somebody will have a 50 cent ad a dollar ad it depends on what you're showing depends on who you're showing it to that's for you to learn so it costs money to even start scaling something and to even learn what's going to work best for you so you can't just walk in with that projection same for facebook ads youtube ads but even the same when you post your stuff on instagram right if you get posted on an Instagram page and you say, oh, yeah, these um, other videos on the channel, these other posts on the channel, they got about 30,000 views, 30,000 replies. Yeah, that's cool. You use that as a projection. Hopefully you even do more. But with that being said, that one off bump, mm, it might not give you the results to your page that you want. You might get a few views, but still understand when you talk about blowing up and really becoming something viral or really just making some kind of impact towards your music, the song plays you want, it's likely not going to come from just one single post, right? Unless you're post getting posted by somebody who has a lot of influence, right? It's like Khalid with Kylie Jenner. That's, that's a different type of thing. But we're talking about just getting posted on a meme page, getting posted on, I don't know, a hip hop page or whatever kind of music you got going on. Those things usually need to be consistent. You get posted on that same page again and again in front of the same audience, or you get posted on that page and then another page and, you know, the smaller pages to kind of create this swell of buzz or just being seen a lot. But it's more than one post and it needs to be consistent and not only just consistent as far as the money you're shelling out, but also consistent to the actual people who are seeing it. They need to see it more than once. So you got to figure out how to make that happen. But understand, once again, Someone says, hey, I'm going to get you these these uh, two posts on these channels. You get them posted and you expect that you're going to get 10,000 views. Marketing is more expensive than you think. Just put it that way. It's more expensive than you think. And I want to just drive that through to you guys. 
Otherwise, so many more people will have 100,000 views. So many people will have a million views. Marketing is more expensive than you think. And marketing is learning. You have to spend money to learn. And then you have to make better decisions off of what you learn. And you're constantly, constantly, constantly tweaking off of those better decisions. That's it. That is the process. Once you can like wrap your head around that, it becomes easier to get real results from learning. That's why it's better to be consistent and do $5 post a day over a year's time or even a dollar post a day over a year time. Because if you keep posting after 30 days, you can say, all right, what did I learn? How can I tweak this ad? After another 30 days, what did I learn? How can I tweak this ad? Another 30 days. So after a whole year, you, you have this really effective ad versus I'm going to just do this for $200 one time. Oh, man, you didn't get no good results. You're not. You're, you're cutting yourself short that way, especially when we're talking about an indie person who doesn't have all these resources. And, and that's that's what we're working with, likely, if you're running your own ads. Keep that in mind. We'd love to know what you guys think, at all, as always. Um, again, this link to the description I talked about earlier in the video. Um, comment. It's, it's in the, link to the stuff I talked about earlier in the video in the description below. Man, I'm getting tongue tied. Not uh, editing this anyway, though. So, other than that, if y'all like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.